All right, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm gonna take a look at Beatmaker 3 and how to kind of how everything kind of works as far as the file system, the file structure that I figured out so far. So I got a blank session. You know, when you open up a new session, it kind of brings up here to the different banks, um, and you can browse the different sessions and the samples. And this samples directory or tag place seems to go through and pull out all the samples everywhere and you can see here I've tagged this one drums hi-hat open and how I did that is um, let's see so that's a closed hi-hat so I went to edit click on that one hit edit category go to drums and go to hi-hat closed and then down at the bottom hit set you can't have multiple ones per sample multiple categories um but that's fine um, you can add your own categories if you want and um, on subcategories to those custom categories okay so let's get out of this and so now if i click on categories it's a good way to be able to navigate once you start putting the categories in so there's close there's open there's a kick and so anytime i import a kick you know i can easily go through and tag it as a kick and then i can um, easily browse the samples you know as I as I go in category so it take, it take a little bit of effort but I think once you get a lot of samples in and get everything organized it's you know it's fairly brilliant but one thing is where are these actual files because if you go under the little piece of paper beside the uh, magnifying glass icon that's going to be your documents and that's actually where everything is the samples um, folder here under this under the search function um, is kind of pulling everything but this is where the actual files are and for me because I haven't I just play around I uh, haven't saved a lot of sessions it's under these unsaved sessions and so all those DM one kits are under let's see probably July 20 20th under the samples okay so there's a whole set of samples here from DM one that I did and so what I could do is say I don't want it buried under here I got a session you know I recorded maybe I had some vinyl that I recorded in and it's under the session because one thing is that I've found is if you go here if you go under um, like if I was just gonna record like from an input source you know and I would record whatever or record from an app what it's going to do is it's going to record it in and it's going to put it in this sessions folder like I showed before under recordings and under the date and it's going to put them here and it's going to label them you know kind of like that um, this one was labeled DM1 and then a sequence number um, and the other ones will be uh, similar but what if I don't want want them in here? I just wanted to make a session and move them somewhere else, which you can, and it's pretty simple. Um, first, I would probably suggest figure out where you want to put them first. And so I have a samples folder. I have drums, and I already did this earlier, DM1 Acoustic, and there's all of those files. But say I wanted another, I can go to, I'm under the drums, I can go new, and then let's do DM1 Acoustic 1, right? Okay, so now I'm under DM1 Acoustic 1. There's nothing under there. And these are folders that I created. And so now I can go back to Unsaved 20, go to Recordings. Then I can hit Edit, copy a few that I want, and then Move. And now, once I have those selected, I can go back and go back and go under samples, drums, DM1 acoustic one, and then I can hit move here. And it's going to move the files here. And so, if you're more comfortable with working with file structures this way, as opposed to the having to go in and. That's loud going having to go in and tag everything via these kind of edit click 
um, you know, edit category, put in strings, and what is that, violin set. Okay, instead of having to do that every single time with all of your, with all of your um, samples, which is good, and it makes it easy if, you know, if you've got it, if you really got it uh, set up, it uh, makes it quick to finding uh, different samples and things like that. But if you're more comfortable with just kind of the file structure, then you could easily just create a samples folder and then drums, or if you have another one, you know, you want a new folder called um, maybe vinyl, V-I-N-Y-L, I think, vinyl, and then you can, you know, go through there. Even further, you hit edit, new, um, whatever you want, a new directory, and then you can just import in from the unsaved sessions or a save session if you save your sessions. Um, I don't probably should but I haven't really I've done things in Beatmaker 3 and it's a really awesome app I just haven't I just haven't done much in it except for just exploring and playing around of actual production because um, that's mainly what I do anyway <clears throat> but so yeah just go through whatever session you're looking for and you'll have samples if you've imported them or if you've recorded samples in so here's some things that I was playing around with. Synthesizer. I don't think it's got anything in it. And so if I wanted to move that, I could easily just move that to somewhere else. And that's kind of the workflow that um, you can do. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this uh, helps. Uh, sheds a little bit of light on the kind of the file structure and what all these little things mean as far as categories and packs um, I haven't explored the packs yet um, I'm sure you could probably make your own pack like if I uh, wanted to edit put a few of those edit a pack add a new pack and that would probably be good for if you're going to try to distribute some things that you've recorded in Beatmaker 3, um, but I just haven't explored that very much, and so I don't know all about it, but I do understand the categories and kind of where things are saved and how to get to where they're saved and how you can move them and things like that. If you need any other um, tutorials uh, as far as the file structure goes, just leave a comment below and I can, with a question, and I can kind of see what I can do to answer your question. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later.